welcome back to another video. My name is Underrated Hijabi, and in today's video, I'm going to be spending the day at Poundland. This is a one pound coin. A one pound coin. Poundland is a shop which sells things at one pound. However, over the years, they have changed and they've decided to increase that pound into two, into three, into four, into five. So it's no longer called Poundland, but it's called Poundsland in my head. I don't know why they haven't changed it on the top because the shop still says Poundland when it's supposed to be called Poundsland. We're gonna go there, spend the day, they have breakfast, lunch, dinner there. By the way guys, it is snowing outside. We're starting with a tragedy and freezing temperature. Guys, it's freezing, it's minus, let's check. What's the, what minus is it? Let's check what minus it is in the UK. This is a lie, I don't understand. Okay, let's ignore the, t the tire pressure thingy because that's a lie. That's a lie. Minus, okay, it's one degree, so that's not too bad. Let's go to Poundland. Poundland, the land of the pounds. Bring your coins, stuff your rounds. Bring your coins, round and round. Poundland, Poundland. I this is this is Poundland. Mm -hmm. One pound. Oh, they have eggs, guys. One pound eggs. Cereals. They have all of these for a pound. <gasps> Look at that. Cadbury. Pick up a bag of Cadbury mini snowballs. Oh. What is this? And they have milk. So I spent all together for my breakfast £3.75. So this porridge cost me, there's 10 sachets, it cost me £1. Then I bought six packet sachets of coffee, £1. Three in one means coffee, sugar and milk it's got inside. I got this milk for 75p. This semi-skim milk, it is, I think it's one pint for 75p. These are six packets of lime breakfast and they cost me one pound. So altogether everything cost me three pounds 75p, which is like, which is all right. So everything was one pound or one pound and under. So let's make our porridge and our coffee right now. Put this on. Stick the pan. The water. There's six sachets inside. Grab one. Pour it in there. Now we're gonna make our porridge, yeah? To make our porridge, we can make it in a pan. Just pour the milk in there. I don't like putting um, the porridge in on hot milk because I want the porridge to cook with the milk because I like my porridge soft, you know? I like it soft and succulent, hey? Succulation. Cause if you like the way I have my drink right here. Let's give this a go, this one now. <laughs> this is nice. I can't fault it because I didn't want to buy like a whole big coffee. I wanted to keep my like spending to a minimum. This will do, it's got milk, it's got sugar and it's got coffee. And then I have my porridge right here. I don't like my porridge to be like, you know like how people have it like clumpy. I like my porridge to be like, you know, like runny. Not too runny though. Let's give us a good spin there. Mm. So I kind of understand why this was one pound. However, let's just imagine that this is like the best porridge ever. This for this to be a pound, I honestly would give it a 10 out of 10 because the price is good. The flavor of the golden syrup you can taste. See, for a pound, I think this is great. For one pound, this is great. This is going to fill me up. I haven't had porridge since I, start, since I left the gym. <laughs> At the beginning it tastes like cardboard, but after a while, it tastes nice. This is a lion breakfast bar. I've always loved lion. You know, this was my favorite chocolate growing up as a child. Like I would beg my mum whenever we would just go out to just buy me one lion. I used to be so obsessed with it. Oh, let's give this a go. It's whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's give this a go, Bismillah. This tastes like chocolate Krispy Kremes. It's good. It tastes like 
Rice Krispies and you know Cocoa Pops stuck together with a little bit of white sauce. Mm. You guys hate when people do that. I hate when people do that. Yeah. It frustrates me. Like, why can't you just go like this? Normal, isn't it? There's people that do this look. <clears throat> I remember I used to work with someone and I used to think that they had a mic in their esophagus. So like every single time they would eat something or drink something, I can hear it going down their esophagus. So then I used to say to him like, have you ever been like an opera singer or something? Like, can you sing for me? Cause like your voice, you're like, even your drinking, like there's something mad going down your throat. It's so cold, like I feel like it's getting colder and colder and colder. And, like I'm not hungry but I'm kind of thirsty and I feel like I'm so cold that my forehead is now giving me a headache. Like I can feel the pressure on my head and every single time I think about like, oh like the pressure on my head, I think about those Chinese videos of those head massages that they give and I've been really trying to find anything in London but I don't find any. So I think I just need like a head massage. Like I feel like all of this, like from this area, yeah? All of this, like, like for example, from this area, you know, this triangle area, I feel like it's very congested and I feel like there's like a lot of pressure, but like, I feel like there's not, I don't know what to do. People say get those steamers, get, you know, humidifiers and like the air purifications and stuff like that, but really and truly do they work? Is my problem air or is my problem inside me? Like I need like, a, I don't know what to do. I saw this drink, right? And it, you imagine, I thought it was just like a normal mango drink, but it's like an energy drink. Why does it look like that though? I'm not gonna lie, that, that looks a bit devilish, isn't it? That is giving me devil vibes. Um, where is it made? It was manufactured in the United Kingdom, but it's from Thailand. I open this, I let it sit for a little. Also got this, right? Got a mini brain junk, gunk. Okay, it is halal, by the way, there is a halal sign. But I've never seen this before. So guys, it smells absolutely amazing. Oh wow, look at this, look, this is how it looks. Okay, this is this is how it looks. It looks like some sour, gooey, I don't know what it is, but there's strawberry and apple flavor. Jelly kind of vibe. Ah. Bismillah. Mm. It's just sour gel. That's all it is. Okay, let's try the apple one. But the only thing is these are super sticky. Let's open this bad boy up. The apple flavor one is not as nice as the strawberry one. Strawberry one tastes better than the apple one. Let's give it a give spin now. This is nice. It tastes like ribcon mango, but like a little with a hint of strawberry. Maybe because it's just my mouth, but yeah. two pound lands and both of them they sell like different things but one of them have an amazing selection of you know meal deals whereas another one doesn't really have that much things what i noticed is they do have halal meal deals so this is a chicken fajita halal meal deal i got this and i got some um pringles by the way i got some pringles and i also got my i got myself mountain dew i got myself two meal deals this is the first meal deal it's a bit greeny and then i got myself a tuna and soup corn salad because i'm not gonna lie to you that looked really nice and i just wanted to try it and i got it with some fiji because like i was like you know what after i have my meal deal i can have this like later on in the evening so i got some fudge brownie fiji fridge I used to always call this Fiji, but it's actually called Fridge. And I got myself a Lotus Biscoff Kit Kat because I didn't even know there was a Lotus Biscoff Kit Kat. This is a tuna salad. 
Like, this is what it is, what it is. And you've got like a lot of fork there. So you have some pasta, some carrots, you have some lettuce at the bottom, some tuna, sweet corn, mayo, mayo. I don't know why, but like, even though I don't usually eat salads, I just wanted this. Bismillah. Tastes fresh. It does taste fresh. And that is mayo. It's not cheap mayo either. You got the carrots, you got bare carrots, and then like you got at the bottom, you've got the lettuce. You got some, um, a little bit of pasta. Um, but there is a lot of carrots, but I feel like why not? You know what they say about carrots is good for the eyes. <laughs> mm. I got Mountain Dew because this is like one of my favorite drinks. I am super skeptical about this. I don't know what it is about this, yeah. I haven't wrapped yet with all those ingredients. That's a bit mad, isn't it? Buying their meat in my Poundland sounds a bit funny. Oh, it's a soggy wrap. You know how I hate soggy wraps? Oi. It smells like chicken tikka. Bismillah. Mmm. That's actually nice, you know. It tastes like chicken tikka. Very flavoursome. Very flavoursome. Mm. I just can't look at the sogginess because my brain's gonna make me feel sick but it's actually this is really really nice I'm not even joking with you guys it tastes like chicken tikka with cheese I know that doesn't sound as great but like you can't really taste the cheese you can see the cheese and whatnot I think I'm gonna save my Pringles and my Kit Kat and also my um my milk for later onwards um we are gonna be having a little bit of a snack because obviously um lunch was good yeah? But this is really really thick the one i got is the fudge brownie which is like my favorite one and i love this this is the Kit Kat crunch i haven't had the lotus biscoff one so i really wanted to just like have a little sugar update you know what i mean i was having a salad earlier so i kind of have to balance things out so let's give this a go Bismillah. i wish they added more wafer than chocolate is um kind of late uh, but part line is still open closes at eight so i'm gonna go and get myself some dinner because i'm actually a little bit hungry these are vanilla flavored these are snow and thode and these are chocolate and thode i think what's that bro yo they've got a variety oh that's five pounds Oi. As you can get toothpaste, toothbrushes, you can get shampoos, conditioners, you can even get like body washes for one pound. Mm -hmm. This one is a bit different because it has like more selection of crisps. Guys, imagine that this small one is a pound, whereas this massive one is three pounds twenty-five. Hi, excuse me, do you have frozen food? Sorry? Do you have frozen food? No, you don't. You don't do it in this pound then? Okay, thank you. I thought it would have been a pound. So like they have all of these clothes. I think this one is like more for clothing. Like at this. This is called Apollo noodles, instant flavor. It's large and it is halal. Guys, I'm gonna ask if I can get discount on these. Thank you. Hi, this one's open. Can I get a discount? Yeah, it's open. Yeah, it's open. I can give you 25% this time. 25%? Yeah. Hey, hey! Okay, so this is seasoning. And that's chili sauce. Ah! Come up to that line, right? Let's give it a go. It doesn't look bad, it just looks dry. You can taste like a bit of seasoning, like chicken seasoning, and a little bit of salt. So, but little bits. It's like it's it's mostly plain, but this pasta is soft though. This is straight up pasta. This is not noodles. Back, come back, come back. Like 
it, bro. What's halal? Guys, as backup, I'm gonna get this. Uh, this is the triple cheese one. I back up. I, I would have got this. Oh, that looks so good, you know. So I got this pizza thing, you know, these like pizza pockets. I feel like this is like an American thing though. I also got myself this, which is like a corn lasagna. So it's like, it's vegan. I also have water. I haven't drank water the whole day, which is weird because like I'm, I usually drink water, bismillah. I just literally stuck this inside the air fryer. It looks absolutely delicious. We're going to give this a go first because I feel like I really want to try this bismillah. It's just literally a flatbread with like tomato and cheese. Mm. It tastes nice. This is the lasagna. That's how it looks. Cheese is not like melted cheese because I don't think does vegan cheese melt because I'm not gonna lie to you, the cheese does not look like it melts. It's been there. The lasagna sheets are like raw. That tastes really bad. That tastes really, really bad, guys. And I don't even understand what the what this cream sauce is. It looks all right, but it just tastes bad. It just doesn't taste good. I've never tried cardboard with tomato sauce. And the tomato sauce isn't even like quality tomato sauce. It's one of them like, it's just like the top part, the liquid part. You know when it separates? They just added the liquid part. That's what they did. Guys, it is absolutely freezing outside. It's like 12, I think it's like 12.30. I was just watching a TV show. Have you guys started watching Wednesday? Because I've not watched that and I've never been into the Adams Family. But I made myself a cup of tea and I also got myself my biscuits. I got this, I can't believe I got this for £2.50, you know. I have all of these biscuits and I love every single one of them and like they're all chocolate covered. I'm not really a chocolate kind of girl, but like come on, if you're having a cup of tea, you always have to have some sort of a biscuit or a chocolate on the side, innit? Wow, this is like, you know what, yeah, when it's cold, the only thing that can get you through the cold is just something hot. Is, why are you slowing down? Do I look like we... Bro, you know when cars slow down and they, they see like a light? Like it's reversing now. Where are you going? You guys are probably going to be like, why don't you just do it in your house? Well, personally, like, I... I don't really like it when people are in my house, you know? I don't like human beings at my house. And I just feel like your house is like your safe zone. I just, I don't know. I just don't think like... I don't know, like, are you guys going to see where I sleep? I feel like that's a bit personal, don't you think? Or is it just me? You know what I like? I like fingers. <laughs> there's these biscuits, there's biscuits, biscuits, chocolate biscuits. I love dipping fingers inside tea, tea. It just softens the sides. Just dip it in like that. Quickly though, don't be long, bruv. Just been there. Mm. And then you could just like... But these don't taste like Cadbury fingers. And they have like a little biscuit inside. Now we're gonna try this one. This one looks pretty though. Look at the design though. They took time. I love when they have like good designs. Simply dip. Mm. This one has a more of a hardened biscuit texture. It's not as soft as the, the finger, but it's just as good. Mm. This is white chocolate crumble. And it's in like a gold packaging. I like that, you know. I like the designs. I love that. You make me want to just sit there and eat all day. Okay, this one's like this. And then like that. This one's like a basic one. So this one, I'm just going to dip it in for a little bit longer because it is a thicker texture, you know. Mmm. It says it's white chocolate, but I can taste a hint of orange. Are you sure it's white chocolate? Oh no, it's dark orange cream. I knew it, bro. I like orange chocolate and I love mint chocolate. Like every year for Secret Sun, you can always put like what you want. And I would always put the same thing mint chocolate and hot water ball. That's it. I don't want nothing more. Don't give me a mug. I've already got a mug. 
I just want those two things and I'll be happy. Oh, you know what? I, every time I receive my um, secret Santa gift, yeah, I am, I am surprised. I'm just like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like I didn't request it, but at the end of the day, it's the thought that counts, right?